Hello everyone and welcome back to all the mod 7 to the sky. We're back in the sky. We're back on the server. Still a lot of people um, as per usual. Um, <laughs> that was sounded like a bit of a brag, but it was more of like a, a humble brag. Is that the right word? I, I don't know. Anyway, um, in the last episode, we, we did a few different things. For example, we set up this little island. I ended up making, you know, this seared Malta, I guess, the highlight of the video. Although, we did quite a few other things. Like, I'm pretty sure we set up this guy, the Cobble Gen, and as you can see, he's done a pretty good job. Um, we also messed around with, obviously, making tools and stuff. Um, I'm not entirely sure what else we did, but I feel like... Oh, yeah, we made a magnet. Th this magnet was actually extremely good. W we're at a point where we've got so many resources that, like, we can get resources really easily. Like, we can process things. We can get, like, a stack of gravel from our uh, cobble gen and do all that very well. Now... Let's address the elephant in the room, this command block. Now you might be thinking, okay, why has he got a command block there? I'll tell you, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I logged in today um, and there's a command block. And, and now I would have messed with it, obviously. I, I would have looked at it, but I didn't because in the past, we've had things like this show up in our series, especially the ones that we play with on servers, obviously. Um, now in the past, also, I don't know what's giving these chests, these really cool uh, textures. I, Listen, we're just going to live with it, okay? Um, but in the past, we've had tree people mess with us. And so I'm sort of thinking this could be it. Or this could be them helping us. I'm going to flick it and we'll see what happens. Mm. Okay. Is the sun moving? Did it stop the sun? It might have. Do you reckon this is a, is a time thing? You know, no, the sun's moving. I, I can definitely see it going higher. Yep. Okay. So, so what does this do? You know, here, let me turn my chat back on. Maybe it's something there. Okay, I, I hopped in creative mode and I had a quick look at it. It was to give someone items in the in the server. Well, it's one of our admins, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. But I'm, I'm still a little bit... We'll leave it there because, I mean, I can't really break it. And uh, I didn't place it, so I'm not going to break it. But but it's there. Sure, whatever. Um, So what are we going to do this episode? Well, in the last episode, and um, as per usual, and even in some of the earlier episodes, I went back and uh, double-checked the comments, we've got a few tips that we can try out. Um, For starters, uh, there is something called, drumroll please, um, oh, I've bookmarked them, the crafting blueprint. Now, this is a blueprint from Create. It would cost us a painting, which would be a bit of wool, which I think we can make quite easily, um, and a crafting table. So I'll tell you what, we'll give it a shot. We'll, we'll see if we can, uh, you know, give it a shot. <laughs> um, so we'll grab that. Yep, I think we've got everything we need. So we grab this, turn it into a painting. That should be simple. And I believe what this lets you do is create um, crafting recipes that can be automated. So we'll make this crafting blueprint. Um, you place it on a wall. So for example, let's place it here. There it is. So it's slapped on here. Um, and you can open it up. And within this blueprint, we can place a recipe. So for example, I think this is where it gets cool potentially. I'm pretty sure you could grab like all your cobble and compress it into a compressed block. I mean, click tick, okay? So now, as you can see, it's got a compressed symbol there. So I, th I believe the way this works is if I were to grab out all of this, how do you do that? Yeah. Oh, there we go. If I were to grab out all of this cobble and then right click on this uh, painting, as you can see, it's throwing them on the ground, right? It's creating uh, these compressed stacks. Now that's pretty good. If I hold shift and do it, it does a full stack at once. Um, I'm trying to see if there's like a way to do it any faster, but to be honest, a full stack at once is pretty good. So we can right click all that. And that's a really quick way to turn all of your blocks into our compressed blocks without having to go into the crafting table. And I know you can do the trick where you press a G in, in your inventory, but even that, I mean, as far as I'm aware, I, I could be missing something, but you have to sort of go to every stack and press G on them, right? Whereas this one, I can just, you know, spam click that right after taking the stuff out. Like that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, so, so that's one, one way to do it. <laughs> and then I'm guessing with these, we place them down, you know, we whack them, we get a bunch of gravel. Cool. Right, cool. Um, do we need all this at the moment? Not really. <laughs> Not really. We'll, we'll get back to that. Um, there is also another way that we can attempt to get some compressed blocks. Um, it is called the compacting drawer. Another um, comment led me this way. It's from the um, the functional drawers, uh, or sorry, the functional storage mod. It would cost us, I guess, three iron. That's not too bad. A drawer in the middle, the drawers are pretty simple. They don't actually cost iron. That's just this specific one we're looking at. Um, they usually just cost wood, I believe. Um, and some stone. So, so, I mean, that's pretty easy. Whilst we used to struggle a little bit with getting iron, it's it's also relatively easy um, at the moment. I still think, by the way, our best uh, method for getting all of uh, the stuff we need is to... Where are we? 
is to just hammer it directly there. Like, I know we can do the compressed blocks, right? <laughs> but this just feels like it's infinitely easier because we just get the gravel, like, instantly. You know what I mean? Um, and, and I feel like that's just better. Um, now, what you might have just seen and what you've seen again is server lag. That's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. Let me, um, let me take a look under the hood. You know what? Oddly enough, look, look down here. You can see the TPS is actually at 20, which means not lagging. And yet, I'm, and yet we are. So I don't, I don't really, I don't, okay. Okay, well, I, I didn't actually fix it, um, but we've got stuff dropping again, so we're just going to continue. Um, that, that is something that, I mean, it tends to happen. Um, it's, I, I think it's a me issue currently. I don't think it's a, an actual server issue, but regardless, it is something that happens when I play on servers um, for these series. So we'll, we'll have to watch out. If it does get bad, and if you guys are like, hey, this is pretty ridiculous, we can't be, like, it's painful to watch. I mean, I've got a floating island. I'm pretty sure I can quite easily copy this into single player, so um, so let me know how you feel about that. But uh, it is also fun playing on the server, because we get, you know, some of these strange interactions that you don't really get in single player. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, you know, get some iron, <laughs> basically. While we're um, on the topic of uh, tips in the comments, someone told me that if you, and I think they told me this probably on, uh, all the mod 6 to the sky, if we're being honest. If we were to build our base below Y level 64, so like at Y level 60 or something, um, phantoms won't spawn at all. That sounds amazing. <laughs> that genuinely sounds amazing. I, I hate phantoms. So if you also hate phantoms, that's a really good tip um, to, to build below like a, or, or at like Y level 60. That sounds really good. Otherwise, you know, you do have the threat of phantoms, which nobody likes. Um, in terms of everything else though, 14 iron, that's pretty good. We'll chuck it in this system over here um, that we hooked up in the last episode. So we'll chuck that in there, chuck the rest here. All of this, oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, I, I know that this used to have a structure in the end of the last episode, but I um, I tore it apart. Oh, do we have iron? Oh, beautiful. We, we can actually start building stuff. Um, I tore it apart off camera because I was um, <laughs> I was trying to get a, th a pretty thumbnail. <laughs> um, so let me just, let me just fix that real quick. All right, so um, what, what were we crafting? Um, we were crafting the compacting drawer, weren't, weren't we? This this guy here. Um, so we'll need two pistons. That's going to be two redstone. And whilst, you know, it'd be good to have some redstone, <laughs> we currently don't have any. Um, redstone, I believe, was from sand. I, I mean, I guess we can look it up real quick. It's not too big of a chore. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why I'm making a big deal out of it. Uh, it's dust, actually. Dust in an iron mesh specifically. Um, although, we can probably start updating all of our meshes with iron because... We genuinely have a decent amount of iron uh, running in now, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident with our, with our abilities. Like, what, 27? You know, we, we can put a few aside. <laughs> we'll put three aside for our, um, whatchamacallit, our compacting draw that we want to make. <laughs> and, oh, but then I could, I could also spend this on, like, um, auto sieves and auto hammers, I guess. Hmm. Someone also told me, by the way, um, obviously, I wanted to make, a, I, I think I bookmarked it, this guy, the Flux Hammer. But we might also just be able to use like a crusher. And then the question becomes, what's easier and what's harder to make? We could also, I think that, I think this crusher is specifically for uh, ores, which I mean, it's still pretty good, but um, this crusher here, uh, I mean, we'd have to make a bunch of machines. You know what? It's not that bad. Like if we have osmium, which I don't necessarily think we do. It doesn't look like we do. Let me, let me double uh, osmium. Uh, are there osmium pieces? Yes, osmium pieces. We're going to get this from gravel in an iron mesh. So we, we, we haven't started getting a bunch of, you know, this stuff yet. So it is sort of off the table. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this is the other problem. There's so many things you can do in this pack. Like there's so many different ways you can go about doing things that even if I pick something, it's like, it's never the best option. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I'm, I'm just sort of looking at my notes. Uh, Okay. <laughs> sure. So what do you, uh, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to switch out some of these meshes. I'm going to, I'm going to upgrade them. I, I feel like it's the play. So we're going to split this into stacks of six. So it looks like we can do four of these. So let's do four of them. Sure. Um, oh, someone also told me here, jumping onto things again, to make a philosopher's stone. I didn't realize you could make it with gold, blaze and gunpowder. That's actually really, really cheap. Now we don't have any blaze. Um, we do have gunpowder though. So that's pretty good. We, we've got gold as well. Look at that. <laughs> um, but yeah, blaze powder. Okay, hold on. So we need blaze powder, right? Um, we could do some magic to get it, do all that stuff. Or we sieve dust in iron. So, hey, we're getting this stuff set up. Um, 
so it sounds, it sounds like a plan. You know what I mean? Like I, I think we're on our on our road to getting all these things uh, made. Um, so we'll chuck this in here. Actually, I think I can just press U on it and slap in this recipe. There we go. Four iron meshes. It's expensive, I know. We're using a lot of iron for this. Um, but I think it's for the greater good. Um, so now we need a bunch of dust. So, you know what I might do? I might change this recipe if that's... How do I do that? Oh, 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 oh. there we go. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll probably make more of these because I, I genuinely... I really like these little blueprints. Um, but what I'm thinking is we place one here. Um, and in this guy, I tell him the recipe to make... Um, a compact blo block of gravel. That, that, that's what I'm trying to find right now. <laughs> um, a compact block of gravel. Uh, and I think that's pretty good. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, sure. Um, so then, if we make some more... <laughs> some more stuff. Do we have gravel in here? We've got some gravel in there. I get. We've even got some dust. Yeah, we're fine. But then I can come over here. You know, I can grab all of this stuff into goodies. We can uh, obviously place all this stuff down. And then grab a hammer and do that. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay, okay. Every everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're Remain calm, guys. I, listen, I I know. I know it's rough. Okay? <laughs> this is a, it's a rough episode. These are all going to be... They're all going to be painful, at least to some extent, okay? But we're going to power through them. We're going to get things going. And we're going to try and make it less painful. Okay, beautiful. We've got dust. Um, now, I know we could be doing better if we... Um, whatchamacallit? Um, only had, like, these iron meshes uh, equipped. But it's fine. You know, I, I think we're getting enough stuff regardless that... It's it's not worth the effort pulling them apart and, and doing all that stuff. Although I guess in theory, all I really have to do is just take the string meshes out or the flint meshes out. You know what I mean? Like I don't have to fully break the thing. I can just pick them all up. That's too late anyway. Oh, uh, we, we got some blaze powder. We've got enough redstone to do what we wanted to do. So so that's probably what we're gonna do. <laughs> um. So yeah, what were we gonna do? <laughs> we were gonna make the compacting drawer. Yeah, yeah. Because I was gonna show you something. Um, that is probably at this point not worth it, but we're going to do it regardless. Um, we're going to need some pistons. Uh, we're also going to need some smooth stone. So I'll tell you what, we'll, uh, chuck in this stuff and I guess we'll chuck in those planks. Sure. I know we've probably got coal, but it's too late. <laughs> we're, we're in too deep at this point. Um, so I'm going to make the pistons. We're going to get two of these guys. One, two. Perfect. Um, and then I think we're just waiting on stone. We need what? Like five of it or something. We'll grab all this stuff back. Um... Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Oh, we need, we need a drawer as well. So let's search um, drawer. We'll grab an oak drawer. It's going to need a chest. So, you know, we'll go ahead and make a chest. And then I, it looked like it was a chest surrounded by uh, wood. And we'll get a drawer. Now, the drawers, they store a lot of one particular item. Um, they're actually pretty good. Um, and so, for example, you could place one on top of this uh, cobble gen, I believe. And it would fill up a lot more cobble than, say, we fit in this one chest. Um, especially with upgrades and stuff. It can store quite a lot of things. Um, but only one type of item, unless you were to get like the one by two drawer, um, which uses two chests or like, you know, th th there's a few options you can do. Um, but in this situation, we're making a compacting drawer. Now, the cool thing about this guy is, well, for starters, I'm going to be making a big mess. <laughs> bear, bear with me in these harsh times. Yep. If we place this guy on top, you ready? Is he going to do it? He might not do it. But in theory, what's meant to happen is you place cobble in. Oh, in fact, I think it is working. Yeah, look, that number's going up. And what this chest does all automatically is it turns these into compressed blocks and turns those compressed blocks into double compressed blocks all at once. And what I mean by that is we don't have one double compressed uh, cobble block in there and 10. No, no, no. We have 10 or we have one. So it's like an or situation. We either have 100 cobble or we have... 11 uh, compressed, or we have one of those. Does that make sense? Hopefully. If it doesn't, sorry. <laughs> um, but there we go. This guy can store a lot of cobble, as you can see. Now, to take this stuff out, instead of having to do the blueprint stuff or all of that, you literally, you just crouch and you left click. And look at that. We've got a full stack of compressed cobble. So it's pretty good. It's genuinely pretty good. It, it skips that whole situation altogether, the whole um, needing to compact it um, manually and it doesn't use any power. So it, I feel like it beats out. Um, where is it? Do I even have a bookmarked? <laughs> I don't even have a bookmarked. I think there, there was like a, it, it's a bit harsh, but the flux compactor, the, <laughs> this mod exists that uses an insane amount of resources. And I'm pretty sure it just does this <laughs> now to be fair it, in its defense. I'm pretty sure this does it for like every type of resource. So for example, instead of setting up a bunch of uh, compacting drawers, 
you could just have one uh, fl one flux uh, compactor doing like all of this stuff, compacting it all. Right, so it's, yeah, you know, you know, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, okay, I'll tell you what. <laughs> let's, um, yeah, let's smash out some more iron, I reckon. Um, we'll try and get an auto hammer up because realistically, if we have gravel automatically comp compacting and doing all that stuff, that's infinitely better, I think. So I, I reckon we get started. I, I think I said in the last episode that we're going to give it a shot. And so this is us giving it a shot. And, and luckily, we keep, our magnet's so good, by the way. Get yourselves a magnet. It, it has made like our entire, um, pretty much everything we do, every step of doing things on this island, infinitely easier just by having the magnet. Um, so yeah. Hmm. I, I'm trying to think of like, <laughs> are we good? Like, is this what we're doing? Uh, am I am I doing the right thing? I think so. I. <laughs> let's be honest. Probably not. Um, it's fine. <laughs> Like, what do we have? We have some iron. Yeah. Did we, how much more iron did we put in here? I, I don't think we have enough to make blocks, right? No, we've got some, but not enough. Um, all right, I'll, I'll process these four stacks and I'll be back. You know what would be nice as well? I, I think auto sieving would be really good. The, <laughs> the reason why I say that is because realistically, if we think about it, we can get the this gravel extremely quickly and extremely easily. Um, so the hard part is realistically just the sieving part. This is sort of our bottleneck at the moment, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, so maybe we'll focus on sieving. And I saw a comment uh, mentioning integrated dynamics for sifting. And I think that is very, very, very interesting. The problem is, I don't know how, how hard that'll be to set up. Um, so for starters, uh, what I imagine we're going to need would be a player simulator, this guy right here, okay? So he would need an emerald, you know, sure, we, we can do that. Uh, but then he also needs these four things. Now, um, to make one of these, we'll need a diamond pickaxe. Once again, it's doable, you know what I mean? An item exporter will need some of these things, which will need some of these things. I think for the most part, like all of these recipes are pretty straightforward. Like all of these come back to crystallize mineral chunks, which we'll bookmark these things here. Okay, we'll, we'll bookmark that and we'll get back to it. Um, and wood, right? Like, I think it's pretty pretty straightforward. Um, obviously, another thing that's needed here is, you know, diamonds. We're going to need a decent amount of that. We'll need some piston action. Doable. This thing here will need crystallized chorus chunk. This is where it gets a little bit more expensive because obviously um, we don't really have chorus lying around. So we'd have to breach into, uh, what do you call it, end stone, which it, it's, I think it's reasonably doable it's just you know we would have to make that step that that jump um is that the same for all of these i'll be honest just looking at these here i think it is so i think yeah we would need a lot more diamonds because at the moment um in the diamond department we have one <laughs> so we would definitely need a lot more diamonds but you know that comes with time yeah okay hmm yeah, I don't think it's doable then. In, in that case, I think the alternative is literally just an auto sieve. Um, this guy needs two blocks of iron. Um, yeah, we we honestly might be able to do that because um, if I press the right button, we've got a bunch of iron here. Um, let's give it a shot. All right, um, while this stuff's smelting, we're, we're getting close to getting our block. Um, in fact, we might even have enough stuff to do it. Um, Someone mentioned that we haven't really done the proper skyblock introduction. By the way, it's been raining for forever. I, it's not even nighttime, so I can't even sleep. So it's we're, we're stuck with it, okay? I could use a command to turn it off, but that'll mean it'll just keep turning on every like two seconds. Um, and and what, we, what we've missed out on is this like platform, it's three blocks tall. There's a lot of grass down here. We could pick all that up. Um, <laughs> I am tempted. I am tempted, but it's also like... I feel like we just don't need to. I feel like we can pretty easily make more dirt if we realistically want to. That it's just... I I kind of want to, though. But I, I, I don't think... I'll tell you what. We, we might dig it out in the future if we move all of this stuff, right? Because then I could have this as like almost like a little pond farm thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> that, that wasn't English. I didn't say a single word just <laughs> I'll tell you what though, we can uh, we can build what we want to build now, um, which is the auto sieve. So we're going to need to pick up a, a, a sieve. That's going to be fine. We'll uh, get some bars. We'll get some hoppers, all that stuff. That should be fine. Um, one thing I will look into is I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to actually, I'll leave that on. Sorry. Um, okay. Can I not pick you up? How do I? Oh, this actually has a little bit of iron in it. Ooh, okay. I see. Very interesting. 
Um, hmm. Okay. Oh, what? Many people are back. Um, I was going to turn this off. The reason being is, if, if we get another iron to smelt, we can actually use this molten iron uh, to make bars. And I don't know if that's more efficient or less efficient, right? Um, so if we go into, I don't know where it is, the casting table. Um, well, that doesn't really help. Oh, yeah. If we go in here, we get molten iron. And then we can turn that, or, or I guess we can cast that, into iron bars. And it'll be three nuggets for an iron bar. Is that more worth it? Let me, let me do some math real quick. You know what? I think it is. I, I think it's barely more efficient. Like we're talking uh, about like seven nuggets worth or something like that. Like a very, very less efficient, but still slightly more efficient. Um, so what are we going to be left with here? Uh, we've got left in here three nuggets worth. Perfect. So that should be enough to make some iron bars. <laughs> awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm going to chuck in an extra one of these, possibly two of these. Um, if it's going to scroll in, it's not. Um, and then we can turn this on. And it should pour all the stuff in here. There's, it's a tiny little wizard. Um, and we should get a bunch of iron bars. Um, so we needed five of them. Nice. We've got four. Here comes the fifth. They smelt pretty quickly. There we go. We'll get a few extra, but no, that's fine. Um, we obviously wanted a sieve. I guess I'll just borrow one of these. Sure. Why not? Um, so we'll grab that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, what what else? Oh, oh, yep, oh, yep, oh, yep, oh, yep, oh, yep, oh, yep, oh, oh. Can I look at it? Oh, oh, it, oh, it, oh. Wait, 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 wait. We're fine. Okay, he died. Oh. Okay. Are we good? That was that was a lot of something. Um. Anyhow, anyhow. Um. Yeah, the sieve. Sure. Um. So we're gonna make two blocks. Oh, we actually have like barely enough. Um. And then we can make an auto sieve, a flux sieve. Oh, we need a hopper. We don't have enough. Sure, yeah, okay, awesome. All right, I processed some more. Um, so we've got some more iron flowing. Oh, I, I need to put the cast in. Oh, okay, we're good. All right, we, we should be back in business. Okay, um, it's currently nighttime, so I should be able to hopefully uh, sleep this way. But at the very least, let's make our hopper. So we'll do this, we'll do that, we'll do this, hopper. Um, and we should now have, nope, iron bars. I put them away, didn't I? Yep, I put them in. <laughs> Listen, listen, listen. Here we go. Um, flux sieve. So, what are we going to do with this guy? Um, I think I'm going to put him over here. I'm going to place the sieve probably up here. I think that'll be good. So, he's getting power. You can see there's a work progress bar. I imagine each time this fills up, it crushes. So, for example, if I... Oh, no. Sorry, it sieves. Um, okay. He's full of power. He holds 200,000 RF. There's an upgrade slot. There's a mesh as well. Okay. Interesting. And so if we come over here, I think we can actually pick this up, by the way. This entire compacting drawer. That, that's another cool thing. We've currently got 1.9 thousand cobblestone in here. If I mine it up, we're holding it all. It's still in that compacting drawer. Um, so we can pick this up, run over here, um, slap it down. Realistically, if we're going to have like an auto hammer or something, uh, we probably want a gap, but it, it, it's fine, I guess. We'll place it here temporarily um, so that it's still, you know, functioning. Um, but yeah. We're, we're very close. So, if we come back over here, we'll pick up an iron mesh because, you know, why not? We'll put back in a flint mesh, sure. We'll run back over here um, and we'll chuck in the iron mesh. So, now it's now it's good to go. <laughs> All we need to do now is put in a resource, right? Like something for it to, uh, to, to uh, sieve. So, I think we can probably do sand. I, I mean, I don't really necessarily have a reason to do sand currently, but we can. Okay, so I'm going to put sand in and it's doing it. Now... You might be thinking what I'm thinking, which is, for one, is there an animation? It does not appear to be. And for two, where is, where is it going to put the stuff? You know what? I feel like it said it, didn't it? No, it didn't. Uh, quests. Getting started. Oh, 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 God. Getting started. Um, uh, oh, it's not actually in this quest lineup. Uh, I think we've got to, like, continue along through here. Uh, oh, we get more redstone from this. Awesome. Um... Getting started part two. Okay, I mean, we're, we're, we're up to there, I guess. I'll, I'll start this up. No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> sure. Yep, cool. What's this? Mystical flower? Sure. Um, hmm. Part two. Does part two have the sieves? He, okay, here they are. Um, da, 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 da. These machines have no output inventory. The sieve outputs to the bottom and the hammers output to the front. Both auto output, so you can have the entire system built without any pipes. 
They will not run without spacing the output inventory. What output inventory? Because <laughs> it clearly used up some of my sand, but it didn't. Okay, sure, sure. So the sieve moves it down. That, I mean, it makes sense because it, it's a sieve, you know, it's falling downwards. So let's go ahead and, I guess, set that up. So we'll, we'll make a chest for it to put its goodies in. Um, uh, but then, uh, then we're going to power it. Okay, sure, yeah, sure. <laughs> we, oh, no, I don't even have a, an iron level pickaxe. Okay, yep, cool. Um, huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> okay, we need to make an iron pickaxe. Um, you know what? <sighs> Let's just make let's just make a vanilla iron pickaxe. I I know it's probably not worth doing. Ah, meh, mm, mm. <laughs> Hold on. The, the, are there sharpening kits that I can get? You know what? Who, who, who cares? We've got plenty of iron. You know, it, it, it's fine. Let's pick this thing up. Here we go. Um, we're gonna place it probably on like this level. We'll place the sieve next to it like this. We'll place the chest underneath, and there we go. All right, we'll put this mesh back in. We'll chuck in our sand. This thing's going to process <laughs> in 160 ticks, which is probably like, what, eight seconds? It will process, and it should be giving us goodies. Should be. Now, now keep in mind, it, it's still a pretty rare chance, like um, sand especially in the sieve. Uh, where is it? Uh, with an iron mesh, it has like a 12% chance to give us anything. You know what I mean? Oh, and we should start getting uranium if we're really lucky. Yep, salt. Okay, cool. Beautiful. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I'll be honest. This is pretty pathetic. This is, I mean, I mean, it, like it's doing it, but it's pathetic. Okay. Um, You know what? Realistically, what? I, I grab a hammer. Also, yeah, we've got, we now have a big wizard. <laughs> I don't, I, have, I, I don't know what's going on behind me and in the background of this video, so I, I apologize with whatever they're doing. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, I'm just going to mine up some gravel. I'll chuck it in there so, so that it has stuff to use. Um, and yeah. Alright, we've got a few hammers worth, so it's actually, you know, processing now. Um, I think it's going in the order from the top left onwards, so it's going to get through all the sand before we start getting any gravel stuff. And even then, I mean... It's it's pretty pathetic. Um, if we look at this, I think it's X uh, machinist. We've got we do have some upgrades. Items processed goes from two to four to eight. The RF per tick goes up a bit, but not by much. RF cost per item, processing time. Okay. Then there's diamond up. So what's the gold upgrade cost? It's gonna cost us glass, terracotta that's cyan colored, and some green dye. What a strange recipe. <laughs> what a very strange recipe. Cyan terracotta. That's going to be clay smelted with some terracotta. Okay. Right. Or, or with some cyan, sorry. Um, that's going to be blue and green dye. I mean, or, or it's actually just going to be appetite. That's actually really easy. Okay. that The cyan terracotta is doable. The green dye, we're obviously going to need some sort of cactus or, you know, green flower. Which, on the topic of that, one of the quest rewards I saw... Um, Gave you to the Twilight Forest. Um, we're not going to go there just yet. Um, what I was going to look at though was this one here. This reward is going to give us flowers. So I've now got five red flowers. <laughs> okay. I, I'm not going to lie. I was hoping we would get um, obviously green flowers. Um, okay. Huh. Okay. So we would need cactus. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I really need to figure out what we're doing here. Because like I... I don't know. <laughs> so I'm obviously in creative mode at the moment. I just put in an expulsion pylon. <laughs> this thing boots people out of your claim. <laughs> I kept getting distracted by this giant walking around. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're good. We're good. Let me just <laughs> hop back in some life. Okay, anyway. Anyway. Where were we? Where were we? What was... What were we up to? Um, you know what? I, I, I genuinely don't know. I, I'm feeling pretty stumped at the moment in terms of, uh, progression. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll have a think for a second. You know, I mean, like, we're 40 minutes in this episode. I mean, we've, we've set up an auto sieve, and it's arguably, like, one of the most pathetic things we've ever seen. Like, I mean, it's, it's doing it. It's just... I, I don't know what I expected, to be honest. Um... I'll tell you what, I like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the play here is. 
Do we make a compactor? The reason why I want to make a compactor, uh, one of these fl uh, flux compactors, is so that we can get all of this stuff compacted because there's so much junk in here. Y oh, you know what, actually? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do we have sophisticated backpacks? We do. I believe, I, I don't know if they've disabled it. They might have. There was an upgrade you could get for this guy <laughs> that would do compacting, okay? And it's possible he's gone. It's possible. But I'm telling you what, I'm going to have a look for it. You know what? <laughs> I think they did get rid of it. Because I, I'm pretty sure there was one that would just compact everything in the inventory. And I mean, compared to uh, you know the other setup, it was... Yeah, it, it sort of made the other thing useless. Okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, Alright, sure, sure. I, I see how it is. Alright, I'll tell you what. I'm going to extend the island a little bit. Um, because I want to make a spot for our storage. And I think it's going to go like right here. Um, what I want to do is, is I want to sort out a lot of our storage because at the moment, this isn't going to cut it. This is, I mean, it's pretty dumb what we've got here. Like th this is pretty ridiculous. Um, so what I'm thinking is we at least just store it all in drawers. I think that's the way we do it. Um, so I'm probably going to need some more wood because I'm pretty sure I'm, I've, I've used it all up. So, um, we'll jump back on this, uh, tree, tree grind, which once again, incredibly easy to set up, assuming you get saplings, but maybe, maybe that's the shortcoming. You don't get saplings. Not sure, but anyway, we'll uh, we'll plant some of this stuff. You know, we'll grow that, we'll chop it, we'll get a little bit to make some uh, some drawers, and I th I have a pretty good idea. I have a pretty good plan. Okay, so <laughs> let's get started. I haven't done much. Um, we'll make some some chests. Uh, how many chests do we want? Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll make eight, right? And then we'll grow some more trees. <laughs> I didn't expect we'd go through that fast. By the way, I I absolutely hate having the wand in my hand and like scrolling, and it's just oh, it's just horrible. By the way, you'll be happy to know this is a way faster way of uh, getting wood. It's just doing uh, doing the big chunk of stuff and then just vein mining it all. Way, way faster. Um, so anyway, we've got a bunch of wood now. So we should be able to do what we wanted to do. Um, we want drawers, obviously. Now these drawers, we could do the normal size drawer. Or we can push it that one step further. Or a few steps further. And make these two by two drawers. So I'm going to make, um, I guess, eight of these. Right? And each of these drawers are going to store four different types of items each. So, for example, I can place them all here. Right? We can, I don't know, start stacking them up as well. And then each of these things can have something in them. Right? <laughs> so, for example, this first one might have iron. Awesome. There it is. <laughs> and I'm going to do that with all of this stuff. So, um, essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to be back with all of this stuff uh, stored away. Um, and once again, like if I grab all this stuff, just to show you again how this works, I guess, is I can put all the silver in there, I can put all the tin in there, we can put all the niter in there, so on, so forth. So I will be back. Okay, well, this is all the stuff stored. Um, so that's all in there. Awesome. <laughs> Over here, we've got all this stuff. And you might be wondering at this point, okay, I mean, that's cool and all, but it's, I mean, is it really better than just having like a bigger chest? Because we could have upgraded the size of the chest. And I'll say it is. It is. I mean, all the stuff's here. I mean, we'd still have to go up and grab it. Realistically, we could make them compacting drawers. We don't have the iron for it at the moment, but we could. We, we could do that. There'd be a lot more of them, but it's an option. Um, the next thing, though, is going to be how do we how do we sort all this stuff? I, I'll tell you what. You can make a storage controller, this guy here, and he'll link them all up. The problem is this guy needs quartz um, of some sort, the, whatever type of quartz. And... Whilst I haven't had the best look through here, um, it looks like, I mean, we'd have to do some setup to get it. You know what I mean? We'd have, we'd have to set something up that I don't currently have <laughs> in order to get my hands on quartz. Um, so, we're probably just not going to do that yet. <laughs> we're probably just not going to do it. Um, which means, what can we do? Well, I do have an idea, and it's actually going to involve picking all of these up. <laughs> so, I'm going to do that. I'm going to pick this stuff up. All right, and what I'm going to do instead is I think I am going to place this stuff um, here. Yeah, I'm going to place it like this. So we're going to do that. 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 Okay, so that's all That's all of our stuff. The reason why I want to do this is because I actually want to grab... Um, you know what? We don't have a, a half slab uh, crafting table there. So I'm actually just going to... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm going to place this guy. Oh, it's not, it's not, it's not odd. Um, we're going to place this guy here. I'm going to get a chest. I might set up pipes. That might be a shorthand solution to this problem. Um, in terms of pipes, 
if we actually have a look at um, item pipes, which is what I imagine we're going to use, these are going to cost us six iron and, and three redstone. That's doable. We can do that. In fact, let's go check in our auto, uh, auto sieve, which has been busily working over here. Can we actually smelt? Uh, no, we can't smelt that. We've got to smelt coal. Sure. Hey, look at this. Um, to be honest, that's a decent amount of iron. Nice. I'm happy about that. There we go. Three iron. Add that in. Have that process. Wonderful. We've got we've got the money rolling in. Um, in fact, we actually can sort of get started here. Um, for example, if I grab this redstone out, I think we can just make those um those pipes I was just talking about. So let's give that a shot. Um, pipes. We're gonna need two droppers. Oh, which need cobble. Which oh, these are compressed cobble. I catch ya. There we go. That should do the trick, hopefully. <laughs> so we'll grab two droppers. One, two. We'll create ourselves some item pipes. And then in order to get these working, we need some sort of wrench. Um, now, in terms of wrenches, pretty much most of these work. These are the pipe wrenches, though, and they use, um, they use rods. Uh, I was trying to see if, like, sticks are one of these. Oh, yeah, sticks are. Um, so sticks and flint. To be honest, pretty good deal. <laughs> um, so I'm going to left-click two bits of flint. We'll open this guy up. Um, we'll chuck this like that, put in our sticks, and we have a pipe wrench. Beautiful. So, how does this work? Well, I'm going to run the pipe into the back of all of these, um, and I'm going to set it up to extract from the chest. So now what will happen is, let's say, oh, I've done so much sifting. I've got so much sifted things in my inventory. We can run over here, and I can place them into this chest, like so. And as you might be able to see, some of the stuff that has somewhere to go is going there. Beautiful. Nice. I mean, how cool is that? Uh, so we can do the same with all this stuff. Uh, ideally, you know, we can link this up or we could place another one over there. Or we can do something, right, in the future. But at the moment, this works. If we want it, we can put some speed upgrades in to speed it along. And yeah, that'll be good. Now, there is a problem. The problem is when something empties, for example, when I have no more iron, that's an empty spot. And as you can see, things are quick to jump in there. Obviously, I don't really want that stuff going in. I would like my iron to go in there. Um, perfect. But how do we prevent that from happening? Well, there's a tool, and I believe it is called something. <laughs> we'll probably just search a uh, tool. It's one of these. It is the configuration tool. These guys are going to cost us an emerald, some paper, some gold, and a storage drawer. He would allow us to lock them. Now, I mean, we don't really have paper, so we can't, we can't really do that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's that's pretty much it. I don't, I don't have paper. Although, hold on, I believe if we get a cutting board, one of these guys using sticks and planks, we can slap this guy down. Uh, I don't know. Here, awesome. I think you can place a log on it, whack it with an axe. I don't know if this will work. Maybe with a different tool. Okay, I, I need an actual axe. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Glad to know. Glad to know that doesn't work. Awesome. Uh, I don't know how to make an axe, apparently. Awesome. Here we go. Awesome. Awesome. Everything's awesome. Okay, boom. We get tree bark. So I'm going to do this for all of these, right? We're going to get four tree bark. And oh, oh, three tree bark turns into paper. How cool is that? So then I just do this. Oh, yeah. We just scroll back and forth. And I think it's I think it's working for the most part. Oh, God. We, we put a wrench on there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. What if I put it in my offhand? Wait, wait, wait. F offhand. No, boom. Okay. I don't. <laughs> Do we have enough? I we might have enough. Yeah, I think I think that's all we needed. <laughs> Hopefully, that's all we needed. Well, what was I crafting again? Does Does anyone remember the configuration tool? Uh, this guy needed. Yeah, five. Okay, we've got plenty. We've got plenty. And I'll tell you what. I'll also pick up one of these drawers because we're not using them. And we need to draw in this recipe. Um, we're also going to need some gold. So we'll grab that. I think we need an emerald. I'll use up our emerald. Sorry if there was a better use for it. But we're jumping in. We're going to make the configuration tool. Awesome. So this guy, I'm going to right click on them. And as you can see, it adds that little padlock. Right? And so now, if I go here and I take out all the iron, it says zero. But it keeps the iron in there so that it has somewhere to go. Perfect. Awesome. Wonderful. So then everything else that doesn't have somewhere to go will sit in here. And I think that's perfectly fine. Um, what this now means is I can pretty much empty my inventory, you know, into one of these, pretty much whichever will take it, um, and then go ham. You know, um, uh, <laughs> sorry, I was going to make a, um, a diamond hammer, but I like, realistically, there's pretty much no point. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep doing this. 
once again, I, I still think that my little system here where, I keep, where I'm able to just uh, do this is like really good. So I don't think there's a point in doing anything else. Um, <sighs> did we, have we done enough this episode to justify it? I almost feel like we haven't. I'll be honest. I, I feel like that, I feel like we're missing something. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's one big thing we need to do. You know what it might be? I think we might need to set up the auto hammer. I'll, I'll be honest. I, I mean, we don't need to though. You know what I mean? Like, oh, maybe we need to set up an auto feeder or something. Oh God. Y you know what? Mm, yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's tempting. Cause like realistically what? I, I mine there for a few seconds. I could fill this guy back up. You know what I mean? I can do that. And he, he set like this for like the next day. You know what I mean? The next 24 hours, he's fine. He's not getting through all of that. He'll, he'll get through the coal before he gets through my, my gravel. I, I don't know. Do we get more sieves? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you what though. I'm going to, I'm going to sieve all this stuff. Um, get all the things we need, all the stuffs and things. And I'll chuck them in there. Okay. This is the last little bit here. Um, from that bit you saw me mine uh, before. We've got all of this junk. Oh, two diamonds. Awesome. We're actually very close to having the diamonds needed for the, um, the whatchamacallit. <laughs> of course, the whatchamacallit, you guys are thinking. Um, the... I, I genuinely don't know. I can't think. Um, man, I'm really struggling with this whole thinking thing. <laughs> why, why can't I think? What am I, what am I trying to say here? For the, this thing, the blah, 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 player simulator. That's the word. I, it was there. Um... <sighs> I really, I, I feel very baffled at the moment. Hmm. I've seen something. I've witnessed something. Hold on. Hold, hold on to the horses. If I grab a karma and we come over here, we've got obviously tomato seeds and stuff. Um, I want some bone meal. Be bear with me. Bear with me. I want to fully grow this tomato seed, right? And then hit it with a karma. What do we get? We get tomatoes and we get seeds. Hmm, interesting. Okay, okay. I, I, I believe you. I believe you. The, re the reason why I did that, it wasn't complete insanity. Um, I was having a look at how we could get green dye, and I noticed the, the cutting board, and it lets you use tomato vines, but I think these are things you find out in, like, the wilderness, you know what I mean? Like, when you use, not when you use bone meal on something, but when, like, you just find grass out and, out and about. I, I think our best bet's obviously just going to be cactus, realistically. Um, we do have the option of mystical uh, fertilizer. This stuff here. Um, it would cost us a diamond. Um, but I think that can, can grow some stuff. Otherwise, we get a cactus. Which we would probably get, one would assume, from cactus seeds, believe it or not. Um, and cactus seeds, you get from sifting dirt. Um, so, in the dirt department, <laughs> what are we looking at? Do we have any dirt lying around? We don't. Okay, that's fine. Uh-huh, <laughs> sure. Um, in that case, let's get some stuff. In fact, you know what? We can actually do something pretty cool here. We've obviously got all these item pipes. Let's um, let's somewhat automate this. Why not? Um, I'll grab out, you know, these planks. We'll go in here. Uh, I'll try to put that stuff away. We'll grab ourselves some chests. Why not? Run over here. Uh, did we grab the item pipe? Do I have that on me? No, I don't, don't really know where I've put it. There it is. <laughs> we'll come over here. Um, now, we don't need this to be a crazy setup, realistically. In fact, I think we can do a little something like this. L listen, what you're about to witness, it ain't going to be pretty, okay? I'll, I can tell you that right away. Um, but it'll work, <laughs> or at least it should. Um, actually, you know what? I think... Uh, actually, yeah, I think this is fine. I think what we can do is place a pipe here and a pipe here. We can have one pipe extract from the chest, one pipe extract from the barrel, and then within here, we just fill it with whatever we want to compost. So for example, compost. Um, for example, we place a sapling. Oh, we grow the sapling. Yep, that's the important part. Come on. The important part is growing the sapling. Yep, there we go. And then we get the other uh, leaves, right? We get a bunch of leaves. But yeah, and then we chuck the leaves in here and it should work. <laughs> or at least I thought it would. Oh, yep, it, it does appear to be working. So I've got leaves going in here. As you can see, I'll toggle the shaders off. Everything looks so much more different, doesn't it? Um, this thing fills with leaves. Then it pro progresses, progresses, <laughs> I don't know how to, how to talk apparently, and it should turn into dirt. Now, that's an option. The other option is, depending on how many pipes we have, 
we do this for like all of them. Um, so what that would look like is if I pick, um, yeah, let's pick up the chest. <laughs> I was trying to decide whether I wanted to pick up the chest or not. Um, we'll place the chest above this guy, right? We will place the pipes then here, like so. Um, and we'll pretty much do, oh, oh, do this the whole way around, right? So this will then go here. Um, these will go across like this. Um, and it looks like we have enough to do this at the very least. We can disconnect this one. Um, I'm going to set the bottom of this chest to extract. And that will allow us to put the leaves in. So we should see all of these fill up with leaves. Then we'll set the tops of all of these to extract. And that should get rid of all the dirt. So then what we should be left with is just dirt. Because the dirt can't go into the barrels. But the leaves can. Bada bing, bada boom. Pretty simple stuff. So that should get us dirt. Then we can sieve that. So all that's left is to farm up a few more trees. Um, so we'll do that for a little bit. We, maybe we can toggle our shaders on. By the way, I'm using complimentary reimagined. Um, they're quite beautiful. I'm a big fan of them. Um, so yeah. And by the way, I'm using a uh, Karma. And the cool thing about this guy is, I believe I can just repair him in here with stone instead of iron. So we're not wasting uh, you know, any resources here. Does it chop trees any good? Not really. Oh. <laughs> they found a loophole. You know what? Actually, you know what? I think they're just in spawn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's good to know my expulsion pylon doesn't reach that far. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, I got a bunch more leaves. We can chuck this in here. This is just going to make us dirt. Like, how cool is this? Pretty neat little system just using pipes and a chest. You could use hoppers as well. Obviously, that's going to use an insane amount of uh, iron compared to what we're using. Um, and then all I'm going to do is come over here. I'm going to pick up all of these. Luckily, they all stack. Um, and I'm going to sift all my dirt on these iron meshes. And we'll see what we get. Obviously, we're looking for cactus seeds. Are we going to get them? I don't know. We, we, we've got a lot of stuff here. Um, I'll bring it over to this chest, which we might upgrade. It's, oh, I don't think I can store everything in here. You know what? I've got a backup chest on me. <laughs> um, let's break this torch and make it a double chest. Here we go. Um, so I'll put these seeds away. We've got sugar cane, though. That's pretty good. Um, we've obviously got sweet berries, beetroot, pumpkin, melon. It's pretty cool. Bunch of pebbles. Uh, yeah, sweet berry, beetroot, pumpkin, melon, large fern, birch, granite. Uh, oh, we can take that. Acacia, spruce. What happens to the sugar cane? Did we already have sugar cane? Oh, yeah, that's sugar cane up there. Okay. So, yeah, but we still don't have uh, what we wanted. <laughs> but on the bright side, when we come back here, there's a lot more dirt waiting for us. It's, it's genuinely pretty good. Uh, once again, in terms of inventory, we have an absolutely horrific mess happening. All right, we'll sift up this dirt. Almost done. I Listen, I know this episode's long. I'll, I'll be honest, I feel guilty when I feel like the episode's not going as well as it potentially could be. And I feel like it's not going well when, I don't know, like the island doesn't feel like it's changed much. That, that's, that's the bit I'm upset about. Like when I compared this episode to the last episode, it's like, realistically, what, what looks different? Like, <laughs> I feel like we haven't done much, but like, I mean, I've been playing for an hour. <laughs> I sure do hope I've done something. Um, all right. Did we get any cactus? We did two cactus. Oh, beautiful. All right. Let's, let's give this a shot. We've got some sandstone. We don't need that. Cool. <laughs> if you don't need that. Awesome. Do I have a hammer? I do. Oh, awesome. Okay. You know, we're turning things around. This industry's uh, coming back coming back around. Let's turn this into some sand because we might want to sift some sand as well. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Here we go. We've got some sand. Let's turn, uh, let's turn one of these sand into sand blocks. The sand, we're obviously going to want to go cactus. Where do we want to do that? <laughs> I don't know. Where do we want to grow cactus? Who who has just a cactus spot where they just grow cactus? I mean, we, I guess we'll grow it over here in the sand area. Sure. Yep. All right. So we've got cactus seeds. Bam. Cactus. Do we have like a bonsai pot? Do we have a botany pot? We have neither. Okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. Well, anyway, cactus. There it is. Um, If we want to, we can grow another one as well. Now, can I crouch for these? Doesn't look like it, but never fear. There might be a trick we can do um, before we wrap this episode up. <laughs> um, do we have watering cans? We do. Um, oh, what did this watering can say? Players only, not automatable. Cool. Okay. No, I don't necessarily mind. It's going to cost us some iron, but to be honest, I think it's worth it. I don't necessarily uh, see a reason not to. Uh, it's going to use a bowl. It's going to use some bone meal. So we'll grab out a bone meal. Uh, boop, that guy there. Grab that. Oh, that is definitely not what we wanted. Let's... Put that away. Oh God, we're pressing all the wrong buttons. Let's uh, a bone meal, please. Yep, bone meal. Um, we'll need a bowl. There we go. Oh, 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 bip, 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 bip. yep. Um, and then watering can. 
Excellent. So, what does this guy do, you might be wondering? Well, if we go over to water, we can fill him up. There we go. He's filled. It's that simple. And then what this guy does is he grows things. So, for example, this tomato seed is at 30%. I apply some water to it. It's at 40%. We keep holding because it could, it could have been a random chance, but you can see it's at 50 now. It essentially in increases the growth rate or, or the tick rate, the random tick rate of our items around it. I'm not sure specifically what it does. All I know is you aim it at crops, it grows them faster. Um, and the same thing should apply, believe it or not, for cactus. So if I aim at this cactus, I don't know if I have to aim at the side of the cactus or on the top of the cactus. I don't know. Listen, I'm not sure the science. But, oh, look in the top left, actually. 73%, 80%. We're getting there. What's this guy at? 6%. What if I aim on the top of the torch? Do you reckon that's hitting it? Let's see. I'll hold it for a few seconds. What's this guy at? 33%. I, you know what? I think it, wait, this guy says fully grown. Hmm. Riddle me this. I don't think you're fully grown. Oh, there we go. Awesome. So I can chop this guy off. And we got ourselves cactus. And then we smelt this guy, I believe, to get ourselves uh, the good old cactus green, as they call it uh, in the streets. So here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Awesome. Okay. So what does this mean? <laughs> I do not know. <laughs> you know what, though? Uh, what was I going to craft? You know what? We're going to do it. Uh, listen, hey, episode might be long. Who cares? Okay, who cares? We're, we're in it. I'll tell you what. We've reached that point in the video where like we're in too deep and I've got an idea and we're going to do it. And if the episode becomes an hour and a half, it becomes an hour and a half. I, I apologize. Like I genuinely, it's it's not fun for anyone. <laughs> but sometimes it just, it has to happen. I'll tell you what as well. We need some barrels. I might actually borrow these barrels because they're not getting used. I'll, you know, we only need one. Um, I'm going to place the barrel right here. Awesome. Uh, this guy is going to get water and he's going to get dust and he's going to turn into clay. And that is all he's going to do. And I'm going to get eight of him. And the reason why I'm going to get eight uh, clay blocks is because I'm going to smelt them. And the reason I'm going to smelt them is because we need terracotta. So beautiful. Nice. That's what we're going to do. Um, the coal can go away. Awesome. This thing can go in there, sure, why not? Um, and yeah, we're going to get terracotta. This we're obviously going to turn into cyan terracotta, courtesy of, believe it or not, a piece of appetite. This stuff can turn into cyan. How cool is that? Awesome. Makes our job really easy. So I'll wait for this to smell. Shouldn't hopefully take too long. Also, do we have time in a bottle? We don't. Although we have Project E with the Watch of Flowing Time. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Okay. We'll, we'll see. But anyway, we're after this gold upgrade. I should probably bookmark it. Um, so yeah, terracotta done. Terracotta done. Beautiful. Let's turn that into cyan terracotta, like so. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our gold ingot. Perfect. Uh, we are going to need some glass. We have two. <laughs> That's what we've got lying around. Awesome. We do have some more sand though, so you know, it's, it's not the end of the world. We'll smelt up some sand. Everyone can be happy. Awesome sand, awesome. Uh, the dust, I don't think I need clay at the moment, so the dust can actually go in here. We, I don't know, maybe it'll give us some stuff. Oh, diamond, oh, blaze, oh, look at us. We're rolling in stuff. If we get three more blaze powder, or two more blaze powder, we will um, we'll make the philosopher's stone in this episode as well. <laughs> I don't know, we'll, we'll make everything, why not? Um, all right, <laughs> do we have our stuff yet? I think we only need like five of this. There we go, we got six, is that enough? We're well, gonna make a gold upgrade. Now, before we do this, what's a diamond upgrade cost? It's going to cost three gold upgrades. Okay, so we're not, we're probably not doing that. But the gold upgrade we can do. This thing is going to take our, our thing from two <laughs> or from one item processed to two. So it's going to essentially double the power of this mesh. I'm going to place this in. Okay. <laughs> we're going to watch it. It's going to go up. And you ready? Instead of this going to 40, it should go to 39. You ready? Boom. That right there is the future. So, it's gonna use a little bit more RF per tick. That's perfectly fine. We're making about like 60 RF per tick at the moment, which is pretty good. We could take this all the way up to max, I reckon, and probably not even have to worry. Um, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> sure, beautiful. Uh, in terms of the upgrades, I think you can stack them as well. So realistically, we could probably take it a little bit further as well. Um, in terms of the gold, let's grab this out. Let me. Turn all this into some uh, into some goodies. Does this have any iron in it? It does have a little bit of iron in it. So I'll tell you what. Do we have any iron left around? We don't. Hmm. Bit of a problem. Bit of a pickle. Uh, 
realistically. Does it matter too much? It honestly doesn't. Um, so I'm going to pick that up, which might have gone automatically in there. Yep, that's fine. I'm going to place it down again. And this time around, we're going to put in the gold. We're going to let that process. While that's processing, I'm going to get us another piece of cactus green. We've already got the cyan terracotta. We would need glass as well. So I might actually get that going as well because we don't have any of that lying around. Oh, there we go. Another piece of cactus. Grab that. Yep. <laughs> Run it back over here. Open this thing up. Yep. Chuck that in there. Sure. Smelt us cactus. <laughs> Wonderful. I think we've got enough glass. So I think that's good. Um, the gold. Obviously, we've got a little bit of gold coming in. Oh, do we? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Boom. Boom. Gold? Any gold? Yeah, gold. Awesome. Gold. Boom. Wonderful. Okay. We're, <laughs> we're in business, everybody. Gold. Green dye. Awesome. Gold upgrade. Here is our second gold upgrade. So... Let's run over here. Now, this one actually goes pretty far because instead of going from two to three, we're going to double it again. Instead of this going to three dust, it should go all the way down to one dust, which is it's genuinely impressive. Yeah, look at that. Now, that's a pretty good rate of processing, if we're being completely honest here. Like, that's, that's pretty decent. And you know what? We can push it further. We genuinely can. So I'm actually, I'm, I'm using the top of this torch because it's actually affecting both of the uh, the cactuses, I believe, or the cacti. Um, oh, yep, here we go. Another piece of cactus green. Don't mind if I do. We'll uh, go ahead and grab the gold. We might have lost that piece of cactus, to be completely honest, because I don't know where it went. It might have uh, avoided itself. So I'll tell you what, we'll grow another one. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't really know what happened to that piece of cactus, but it's it's gone. It's, it's, it's gone. Um, thank you guys for watching, by the way. Um, if you still are, I don't, I don't know if you are, um, at this point we've, we've, oh God, I just, my, my earphone just fell on the ground. I, <laughs> I can no longer hear out of the left ear. So if, if we get jumped from the left, I apologize. Let me, let me also sleep real quick. Okay. Okay. We got the cactus green, but yeah, if we get jumped from the left, I'm, I'm, I'm gone. They've, they've got me. <laughs> um, but what I was going to say was, uh, yeah, at, at this point, these episodes have been so rough, uh, personally in terms of just like the time they've taken, I feel like we've not done stuff. But I'm just, I'm still, I, I, I need to just cut that off. You know what I mean? I need to be like, who really cares what we get done as long as I'm having fun? And I, I genuinely am. But it's like, I, I feel guilty having fun because like we did a whole episode where I built this. Like that, like that's, that was, that was what we did. We just, yeah. Anyway, anyway, this is, this is genuinely really good. Like in terms of progress in this pack, this is massive. Um, We're going to open this up. We're going to change it from four to eight. Now there is something to make note of here. This generator does 60 RF per tick, not 64. Although he's still filling up. Oh no, but he is dropping. Hmm. I think we are losing more than we're getting, but nah. But by a very, 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 very low rate, a very low rate, like four RF per tick sort of rate. So this is probably good. Like it's probably fine. I doubt it will run out of our stuff. But yeah, how cool is that? Five diamonds. Five of them. Five diamonds. That, that's pretty good. That's pretty... Ooh. Ooh, hold on. Hold on. Seven diamonds. Ten diamonds. Okay. Now, now, hold on. Hold on. Bear with me. Bear with me. What does this mean? What does this mean? Well, we could make this. We have three golds. We have these. The problem is, it goes to 512 RF per tick. And... I, I'll let you guys in on a secret. I don't have that. I don't have that. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have that much stuff. Um, but that would be pretty cool. Yeah, would it be that cool? I mean, that's a lot of RF per tick for essentially having two of these. Yeah, that's not worth it at all. I mean, it's worth it if you've got it. You know what I mean? Like you've got that power coming in. But for us, that is incredibly not worth it. Stay, stay away from the diamonds, you know? Stay away from them. They're, they're not worth it. Um, but hey, we've got diamonds now. Um, so what's the plan? Because I feel like we're pretty good here. You know, we've got cactus coming in. Um, realistically, I should be growing some sugar cane at least like a little bit. So, um, let me go ahead and, uh, plant some of that. Um, what I was going to do was just plant some, I guess down here. There we go. Um, we'll get that growing. That should be fine. Um, bruh. okay. So what's the plan? You know what as well? We could probably like just keep this ax on the chopping board. That doesn't seem cuttable. Yeah, I don't I don't know why it was there. Um, <laughs> so that should be fine. Uh, I, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I think sieving, although like, like although we'll buff this up, I still think we can push it further in terms of like making it worth it. Um, so I'm thinking what we'll do, 
We obviously, we've got quite a lot of iron coming in. Like, a lot of iron coming in. We've got a lot of resources here. <sighs> we might move it. We might move it around here so that we can connect it to this system. I mean, we could move the drawers as well. Like, it's not that big of a deal to move this stuff. I was just thinking more so, like, I don't know, in terms of ease. Um, and yeah, I think we make more. I think we make more coal generators, more of these ones. We make more flux sieves. We give them the gold upgrades and we just let them, let them burn. And we just, we spend our time filling them up. And I think that'll be pretty good. Because realistically as well, um, we get a chest or even like, oh, even a drawer that we just manually fill up with stacks and stacks and stacks of our gravel and just have it pipe into them. That's, that's, that's relatively easy to do. You know what I mean? All we're going to need is a little bit of iron. And I mean, that's what we're smelting up right now. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We'll get a nice plan. We can do that. We can do that. Um, in terms of tips, let me know if you got any more tips uh, because I'll be happy to uh, you know, try them out because, uh, I mean, this stuff's getting messy. Um, I, I know I can upgrade this stuff. Like, I could make that into an iron chest, I believe, using eight iron. I don't know if we want to do that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit lost. I mean, like, if I, there's so much to do. It's just I don't know what exactly I should be doing at the moment. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for supporting the channel and supporting me. Um, I, I truly appreciate it. I genuinely do because um, I don't know. I don't know. The, these episodes feel rough, but, but you, guys, you guys are liking them. I mean, I'm I'm having fun. It's just, I don't know. I feel like from a watching perspective, it, what are you guys getting out of this? You know what I mean? Like I, I'm thinking, yeah, I don't know. T t to be honest, I feel like maybe that's just a perspective thing. You know what I mean? Maybe I need to just get over that. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, I, this does tend to happen though every so often, like, because I mean, I do this stuff daily, you know what I mean? I, I'm playing this daily. So like, there's definitely these parts where just like these big segments of gameplay that I have where it's like, I'm doing all these episodes and I'm just, I'm just not happy with them. You know what I mean? But then I'll, I'll have that one good episode where I'm like, Oh, you know what? That This is good. That was it. Like I've, I've done, I've single handedly redeemed the past 30 episodes. <laughs> we'll see though. We'll see. Um, yeah. Ah, my, I'm, I'm really, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think of what to do it to meant to like, to bring this together. <sighs> I need to build more platforms. I think, I think I need to build more, more platforms because when we built this, I was pretty happy that we built that. When we built this, I was also pretty happy. And then the past two episodes, like, ugh, blah, like blah, disgusting. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. Um, there's some links in the description. <laughs> And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, and yeah, thank you everyone uh, for playing as well because we will go around. You know what? M maybe that's it. Maybe uh, maybe I'll squeeze in a, a checking out server base video soon. I don't know. Maybe on the weekend because plenty of bases to look at. I don't know if you can see all these tiny little dots. All these tiny little dots around the map. These are, these are all bases hidden around the map. Um, but you can start checking them out. Pretty fun. Um, so thank you guys for playing on it. Um, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> All right, genuinely, goodbye.